y'all hey welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome hit that subscribe button and come with us on our journey so today I am doing another palette of the day day 12 maybe I don't know day 12 of 90 using a new palette today I used this BH cosmetic neutral palette because someone said can you please do a neutral look not just colorful ones so this is the look I created with that palette including my blush and highlighter and all of that come from that palette so if you'd like to see how I got this look what I think of the palette then just keep watching give this video a big thumbs up if you would or thumbs down whatever tickles your fancy love my haters as well as my supporters so if you want to see how I got this look then stay tuned Welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing day 12 of 90 using a new palette. My hair looks lovely today. I don't know how to pull off the messy bun, so this is what we've got. So today the palette, I've actually had people say, can you do neutral looks as well as colorful looks? So today I'm going to use the new neutrals. Color, Shadow, and Blush Palette by BH Cosmetics. I mainly got this palette for the blushes, but the shades are pretty, too. They're neutral. Here's all the shade names. So I will try to tell you the shades, but that is such a pain. Why can't they just put it on the thing? Oh, boy. Let me grab a cup of brushes here. And so the only thing I have on is my eyebrows and a little bit of concealer on my lids. So I'm going in with a fluffy brush. This is from, I think, Wish. No name on it. And the first shade I'm going to go in with is called Matte. And it is this matte brown. We're going to take that. And we're going to just put it right here above the crease. Now, I know some of you don't like to go above the crease, but if I don't, you don't see much of my eyeshadow, so that is what I do. I tap and then I do small circles to blend or the back and forth motion. Just like that. And we're going to do it on this side. And blend. See how it skipped right there because I didn't pat it in? That's why I always try to pat first. Yep, see? See, see, see. And then I just do little circular motions to blend it up towards the eyebrow, but not quite going all the way up. I always do my eyeshadow first so we can always clean up the edges whether I want the edges round, sharp. I don't generally use tape unless I'm going to be doing a liner also. And that's, you blend it out as far as you want because you can always clean it up if you do your eyes first. I've done a few times where I've done my base first and I just feel weird about it. So that is our first shade. And we're going to make sure we're blended. And that is that. The next shade I'm going to go in with, I'm going to. Oh, this is such a pretty palette. I'm going to start with this shade. It is a shimmer. I got a flat brush. And it is called number three metallic. We're just gonna pack that on the lid. It is very pretty. It's going on just fine with a brush. Sometimes these go on better wet or with a finger, but this one is going on just fine with a brush. That is pretty. Then I'm going to go back in with that first brush and I'm just going to blend above it. 
so we don't have harsh lines. We don't like lines. Then, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna go in with a small little brush like this. This is from C Color Cosmetics. So I'm gonna, my son just woke up. I'm just gonna go in with this darker shade, which also called matte. Well, that just don't. <laughs> Y'all, I'm an airhead. So on here, it says things, right? But look what it says. It says matte, shimmer, metallic. It's telling me what the shade is, not the color. Oh, Jesus Christ Almighty. So anyway, we're going in with this dark brown that has no shade because, um, yeah. And we're just going to pat that here in the corner. Oh, good God. That was funny. So we're taking this matte shade. And we're putting it here in the corner. Just like that. See? Dab, dab, dab. Blend a little. There's quite a bit of kick up in the pan. The fallout isn't too bad on the face. So, that. And then we're going in with our first brush, not adding any more product. And we're just going to blend, 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 blend. Then I want to lighten up the inner corner just a little bit so I'm gonna take a teeny tiny shader brush just like this and go right in there just like that You probably hear the kittens in the background playing. Just like that. It's pretty. Pop that on the inner corner as well. A little to the brow. Let me get the brush. No, this palette is worth it. It is super pretty. So that is that. I'm just gonna so that is a neutral look using the BH Cosmetics. I'm going to hop off camera, do my base, then we'll come back and we'll finish the eyes. All right, so I have my base on. I just went in with my L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation in the shade 405. And my Milani powder, which I've actually hit pan on and I'm excited about. And my Age Rewind under the eye. So I am not a brush person when it comes to foundation. I absolutely hate them prior to this brush. This is the BH Cosmetics number three. And this brush doesn't cause streaks or anything on the face. I absolutely love it. And I'm not a brush person. And the other day I was using it and the tip fell off. And I was so upset. My husband super glued it. So we're good. Okay, so next we're going to go in with bronzer and blush and highlight in the bottom of the eye. And since we have blush in this palette, I'm going to go in with this color right here. I'm a little blush brush. And I'm gonna, ooh, it's pigmented. And we're just gonna blend that into the cheek and up. Just like that. Now, a lot of people think that you're supposed to smile and put it on the apple of your cheek, but then the apple of your cheek goes down and you look like you got blush where it don't belong. So I just put it right above where I would put my contour. And I blend it up. That's how I do it. If that don't work for you, then do what works for you. See? There we go. Little trick. If your blush looks too pigmented and you don't like it that pigmented, go back in with your powder 
same brush and just dust it just like that see Doo -doo -doo. next we're gonna go in with the bronzer let's pick one out pick one out pick one out pick one out well the first one that came out was the NARS that I have and that's what this looks like and I have 2,000 brushes and always want to use the same one so I'm just going to go in with this fluffy brush, which is not normally what I would use for bronzer, but it's right here. So we're going to take that and we're just going to go right under where the blush is. And we're going to bronze up the cheek. Now I don't cream contour every day, or contour at all, for that matter. But I do sometimes. So in one of my upcoming videos, please ignore the kittens playing in the background. Bring that up into our hairline. And around the face. They're playing in the background. Oh, already, already. So then next we have to do a highlighter, don't we? Yeah. Hmm. Why don't we just use that one shade that was in this palette that was super pretty? Um, this one. We're going to use that for highlight. Why not? Multi use, multi use. It's very subtle, but it's pretty. Pretty, pretty. See? Multi-use. I probably could have used that for bronzer, even. Those two together. Let's see, I could have got a whole look out of this palette. Yes, girlfriend. Oh! Dropping everything. I don't need this. I don't need to know what's matte and which shimmer, for the love of God. That was funny. Okay, so I'm going to go in with that first shade, that matte lighter brown, and we're just going to sweep that under the eye, just like that. Now, some people don't do under the eye, and that is perfectly fine. And then I'm going to kind of bring it up a little bit right here. Then I'm going to take a flat shader brush with a darker brown and I'm going to bring that right, right there. Just right there. Not all the way in, just on the outer. So we're tying into the corner. Just like that. Take a little more of that pretty shade. Re intensify the inner corner. Bring it down just a little. And that is that. Then I'm going to drop everything as I usually do. I'm going to go in with the Rimmel black liner and blackest black. And I'm just going to run that in the water. And on the top then we're gonna go in with mascara 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 my essence lash princess it's time to open a new one I think I think I do have backup of this because it is my favorite but I have so many open right now I don't want to open another one I'll tell you that Dollar Tree one is pretty good. I use it all the time. Already, already. This eye look came out pretty nice. I like it. So I got a couple collabs coming up I'm pretty excited about. I'm going to be hosting one, so if anybody is interested in being in this collab that I have start coming up, hit me up in the comments or DMs on Instagram. And you can join us in it. It's going to be fun. 
going to be interesting. So, we're going to just go in with liquid cat soup. My favorite. And this is the final look. Day 12, 11, 12, shit, I don't know. It'll be in the description. So this is the final look using our BH Cosmetic. <sighs> Neutrals, shadow and blush palette. Creating this. So until next time, ladies and gents, let's build each other up. Be proud of who we are and always stay beautiful. Much love.